Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Ice Lakes. And guys, we are here to do something a little different. Now, we have gone after Barracuda before, but this time we're going to do it with a different type of lure. Actually, different types of lures that we haven't used too often. And we're going to be sticking primarily with spinners, verticals, and spoons. We are not going to be using balance lures or mormishkas. We are going to be using the others that have been listed within our tackle box. Now, I also haven't been to Tropical Freeze. Now, this is basically against all physics, but it is a place that you can fish that is frozen yet at the same time in a tropical area but there are barracuda here and it has been a while since i've fished here so this is going to be a little tricky we are also fishing at night but night is the best time for the barracuda we are going to go in winter for 30 minutes i'm not sure how many people we're going to be going against but we're going to see just how well we do we are going for total weight that means anything and anything and everything that we catch will count so we are going to go in here and check it out all right let's go this way it seems like they usually like to hang out in semi-deep water, not seriously deep water. We're definitely going to need a big drill for these guys. Now the lure I've got here guys, let me show you real quick, even though we don't have a lot of time. It is called the Phoenix Feather. And we will hopefully see how well we do here. We're also using the party box, which is preferred by Barracuda. So hopefully we will catch a few. We are going to end up having to move around a little bit, probably. Now, last time I've done this, I was able to catch them, but it, do it is not easy at night. Trust me. And the other map is considerably easier. I think it's called Polar Storm. I fish that more than I have this one. So I haven't mastered the locations like I have the other one. But we are going to see just how well we do. Okay, we're going to move, guys. We have gotten a single bite. Not unusual for night fishing here. All right. Let me take a look at the map and see where people are going. Looks like they're sticking with the deep areas. seems to be people are focusing over here so maybe they know something I don't I don't know this looks like this could be a possibility here It's going to take a while to get down there. It's 144 feet. I think this is going to probably be a good location, but... 
we may want to try different baits too see if others work all right I think I'm gonna try switching lures there got to give things a chance well we've already tried that so I think it's the yeah Babylonian Emperor this one's supposed to be preferred by Barracuda There we go. Well, it looks like the spoons have it so far, guys. Yeah, this is a big fish. This is really a big fish. Now look at that broad bend. Getting a little worried there for a minute, honestly, guys. Wasn't sure I was going to get anything. Wow, this is a big fish. Yes, it is a big fish. Holy crap. Wow, 47.62 pounds. I don't know if I can get a good look at him, though. He's He fell over there. God bless it. There he is. Nice fish. Very nice fish. Now this is, guys, just so you know, the Babylonian Emperor... As you can see, we got our first barracuda off of there at 47 pounds. Uh, it's not my personal best, but that's definitely a good fish. We are definitely going to keep at it here. Now, I'm going to go to about 1750 with this one if nothing happens. Or 1730. If nothing happens, I am going to switch over to the vertical. Give that a try. And then we might move one more time just to see if we can catch anything with the Babylonian Emperor. I'm really kind of disappointed I didn't get anything off the spinner. But... The spinner is very visual. I'm afraid that maybe, since I'm night fishing, it, yeah, the spoons have it, man. Now this one isn't as big, but it's bright yellow, and I think it's easily visualized by these fish. And now he's not nearly that big, but. He's still a barracuda, still another four pounds, and every little bit helps. I am going to go ahead and try this vertical. Now let me look at the vertical here. I think it's called the waves. Yeah, that's right. It's blue, so I'm not so sure how it's going to show in the dark. But we will give it a try. At least for a little bit. <coughs> I'm 
may have to come back with a spinner in like the evening because that's another good time to fish for them and see if the spinner does better because that's very possible I'm also afraid this might not be seen as well under these low light conditions there we go we got a bite finally they did go for the blue waves but it was a walleye <laughs> so no barracuda and walleye really aren't as visual as some of the other fish. So I'm thinking that we may want to stick with a spoon. And I believe the balance lure has some kind of shininess to it as well. Which may explain why it normally does much better. Now I want to go over here to this side and try the spoon on this end of things. right in this part that's deep. All right, we are going to switch back To our Babylonian Emperor. Bright it is. That's got to be it. So we're going to go ahead and put that down there. Put a little attractant in there. We'll see if we can find another big, big fella. I'm telling you, the spoons are it for nighttime, guys. We have got another big one. I don't think he's as big as that first one, but he's much bigger than the last one I got. Just a little bit pushing there. Nice, 27 pounds. Nice looking fish. Yeah, these barracuda can come pretty big. Funny thing is, they're not the biggest. It is still the carp. There we go. Yeah, this isn't as big either. That 47 pounder was probably as big as I'm going to get. He's a 6.54 pound muskie. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. Okay, let's try up a little bit. A little bit higher in the water column. Yeah, the muskie was a bit of a surprise. Hey, weight is weight. Does not matter. There we go. Okay, he's not real big either.
3.17 pounds Xander. I'm thinking maybe we need to move a little bit here, guys. So we're starting to get other species. Actually, there is one other place we could try, right over here. That looks kind of interesting. Looks like somebody else has already been over here to give it a try, but... Yep. So we're not going to go too close to that spot, but this is as deep as, deep as it gets. We can only hope. There's some big barracuda down here. Yeah, we only have a few minutes. We almost have about a hundred pounds of fish. But we really don't know how well everyone else has done. Somebody could have caught one monster fish and pretty much cleared up. go. Yeah, he hit hard. That's a salmon? <laughs> a salmon. <laughs> I'll be damned. Never would have guessed that. Sure, that was a barracuda. He wasn't really fighting that hard, though, I guess. Well, that means there's still probably a barracuda down there, but that's not one. So it's basically a night fishing for barracuda and more, I guess. Salmon, another salmon, a pound. Okay, let's try a little bit higher off the bottom. Maybe the salmon are situated down near the bottom instead. Now the barracuda could be feeding on them. Yeah, we're running out of time. Need one more big old fish. That'd feel better. Okay, this could be one. He's not... I don't know. Just a monster salmon. Can't believe all the salmon that I'm catching over here. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, we gotta watch our time here, guys. I can get back in a minute, but... Gotta be sure I get the darn thing out of the hole in time. I do get one. Yeah, this is probably gonna be it, and this is not a barracuda. Well, looks like a salmon and barracuda kind of day. Oh well. <laughs> it all counts. Yeah, we don't have any more time, guys. We need to head back. Because we do not want to forfeit. Yep. 
Here we are. We're gonna wait here until everybody gets here. I'll bring it back. All right, we are on the countdown. The last of the fishermen are headed in. Not sure if that guy's gonna make it. He's gonna get there by the skin of his teeth. Jeez. And I came in first. Nice. Wow, quite a bit first. 101.94. Three of them were disqualified. They did not get back in time. Yep. 10.64 pounds. That was the next biggest or biggest amount. So that was very successful, guys. All right, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll be back with another episode of Ice Lakes in the near future. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.